Anybody needs to go. Got this from the um, LED wheel, Stefan Brunet from LED wheel. So he printed this for me and uh, shipped it out. So there's a bunch of small little pieces and I do have the hinge and my camera keeps going off focus for some odd reason. Uh, this is the top. Uh, I do have doors. Hey, G Green, how are you doing? Here's a roof. It is kind of thick, but very life bec uh, light because it is uh, printed hollow. So it's a good thing. Uh, and this is actually, I found this on uh, Thiniverse. And um, it was actually a one twelfth, I believe it was. Uh, but uh, Stefan uh, took the file and converted to a one tenth, so it actually fits pretty good, especially with a guy in it. Once once he's in it, so one is actually the door. Uh, the door actually has a round hole, but uh, it does not come with a handle. But those are actually uh, they slide. So I'm gonna have to modify this and actually build a. Um, a little slider with styrene or something to actually lock the door because right now you can't get privacy and actually lock the door. So that's not good. So we'll put these aside for now. And go see my live video, make sure I see everything. Okay, so um, the door actually came Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? Kevin and G Greens are in the chat. I sent an invite for people to jump in. If you guys want an invite, send me an email at the Tank RC, and I'll be more than happy to uh, send you an invite. Uh, they do have pins here, not pins, but holes uh, for the door. And the bottom also had a, a, a pin for the hole, a hole for the pin. So what I actually did is I actually had some uh, stem for um, gardening. Uh, these stem for gardening, they're stem wires for gardening. Is the camera going to focus on that? We are not sure. The camera does not want to focus. Earlier it was jumping from one to the other, but now it doesn't want to focus. Anyways, those are um, metal stems. You get those. Uh, I can't even remember where I got these. I think at the dollar store. It's a wire that uh, is bendable um, and it's pretty long. So I've actually cut it and you can actually bend it and it stays bent. Uh, you can do a lot of things with this anyways. So it was a perfect size that actually fits into the, uh, into the hole. So if I take the door, there's a hole here where the door hinge goes. Come on, line up to the hole. There we go. So there's a hole and it's pretty, pretty close to the good size. There is a little loose, but that's okay. It's going to fit. Hey, good evening. So, um, Stefan, uh, cut this, uh, printed this with ABS. So I'm going to use, I could have used uh, contact cement, but I'm going to use ABS glue because I want it to last a long time. This is going to stand outside in the weather and so on. So uh, I will be gluing this with ABS. Hey, Z Froggy, if you can try to jump in, I did send you an invite. Hopefully everybody got the invite. Um, so I d uh, this had a, a hinge. I did put a small little tiny piece in there uh, of that stem. So it does hold up. And when I was checking this out, it was kind of cool because you do have a hole here uh, for the urinal. Uh, and then there's another hole here. So theoretically, it is supposed to be a, a flex pipe that actually goes from here to, uh, to there. And uh, man, I was searching everywhere because I knew I had some because it looked like the same thing as a nitro. Uh, so a hose for the nitro. A uh, hose, not a hole, but a hose for a nitro. So I'm going to use this to actually do that little hose 
over there. So it should be kind of cool and work very good for that. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good details, that's for sure. And on the side, once I glue this together, uh, there's three side that actually goes on here and it really makes it stiff. It really makes it uh, that it's gonna hold. So you, I won't just glue here, I will glue these panel on here and the whole panel is gonna, is gonna hold this together, hopefully. So I know that it's not quick dry, but it's, it's pretty quick for the, uh, the cement. So I could do this one first, uh, this is the bottom one to actually put legs on there. But if I do that, it might delay me on gluing the other things. So I'm going to do the bottom last. <laughs> yes, I am going to have to do a, a trailer or a truck with a um, that actually goes and clean the porta potties. So uh, I'm thinking of I got a uh, not a spare trailer, but I, I'm thinking I'm going to do it as a trailer instead. So it should be kind of uh, cool and neat to do. So without any further ado, I did get my uh, my glue, and I had a hard time to actually open it because it was it was a lot of glue here so I took it out and then I actually used a pipe wrench to actually open this up but it did open so this is yellow ABS cement uh, instead of using the um, the big plunge that goes the big yellow sponge that comes with it I did get a um, utility uh, paintbrush that I'm going to actually use to actually paint this that reminds me, I have to get a blue towel just in case I make a mess. Yes, a tanker truck. But in my case, it's probably going to be a tanker trailer because just building a tanker truck just for that, that's kind of overkill. So building a trailer and leaving it beside it, that'd be cool. I was thinking maybe asking for somebody to 3D print one also. Um, I found some neat pictures of some, uh, but 3D printing the whole trailer and just putting wheels on it, that, that would be cool. It'd be easier to do, but it would be cool. Now, before doing anything, I think I should actually hook up my hose. Because if I don't hook up my hose, I'm going to have a hard time installing that hose uh, in there once everything is done. So let me get something to cut. Uh, I got some side snips. A big yellow dauber and an acid brush. Yes, sir. We, we use whatever is required to do the job here. See, they, they call these tin handle brushes. I always keep some just in case for, I need to spread something around. So could just insert it from the top and work my way out down. There we go. So. I'm inserting the pipe. That's when you go for a pee pee. Let's see, did I cut it long enough, short enough? Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be perfect. I think I should put a little dab of glue in there. There we go. I'm gonna leave it that color. I'm not gonna bother painting it or anything. But people that are going to look in there is going to look and see, oh, that's kind of cool. But I want to make sure nobody puts their finger on there and actually pushes it in. So I got to find my contact cement. Uh, where, oh, where is my contact cement?
buy those by the sack. Cool. There, I put a glob in there. So hopefully it's gonna dry. And I wanna make a mess if I turn around. Put some quick hardener in there. And there we go, the pipe is installed. Cool. My wife was going, wait a minute, isn't there supposed to be a uh, a stack for a vent? I go, yeah, yeah, there's supposed to be a stack for a vent. But I guess the guy that did the file did not do it. Yeah, they all have a, a, a sink with a foot pump. Yes, and I could basically build something and put it it on this side in styrene and all that but uh, i do want to look scale but i'm not gonna go that crazy uh mind you it, it it does not have a seat you lift it up but it does not does not have that second seat to actually sit down so it makes it uh, kind of hard use an axle from a traxis for the stack yeah i could I just could hollow out. Um, I got some SEX10 also. I could actually glue on top. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, like most people know, this glue does not um, dry fast. So, I should be okay. And I'm going to try to get some on my paintbrush. I don't want to do a mess, so I'm not. I'm not going to put too much. I don't. I want those corners to stay. I am going to squish it, but I don't want it to squish out on each side. So here we go. First part is going on. Oh my God, it's all crooked. No, just kidding. Okay, now we watch paint, and uh, not paint, glue dry. Just sit here and wait and wait. And wait for the glue to dry. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to do a live video for this. So how is everybody doing on this midweek? And is everybody going to be there for tomorrow for RC Talk? So Stefan from the LED Will did print this for me. So if you guys do want a, um, a 3D print of this uh, toilet, uh, he does have the file for it. And it's already done. Um, like I mentioned, this was a, um, a 112 before, but he actually did the math and converted it and did times 12. So it actually turned out to be the good size. So when actually I, I actually had mini tank in there and I took some pictures and uh, he, it was pretty good size, especially when, when he's standing into it. Um, like that's pretty much what a, a porta potty would be when you're standing in it. So the size seemed to be pretty good. Um, the height, maybe it could have been a little bit lower, but not much. It's 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 gonna look good on the trails. And plus, I'm not gonna bother painting it. the The color of this type of porta potty is actually blue and white. So I'm gonna leave it that color, blue and white. That's gonna look good. So we're just waiting for the glue to set a little bit. 
So um, G Greens RC uh, did a bashing video with his uh, monster truck. So go check it out. That was his birthday gift. And also I got a crane to actually put on the trail. So I'm going to put it close to my um, switchback rope because it's under construction right now. And that's where the construction um, uh, ATCO office is going to go. And uh, I'm going to have that crane there and I'm going to take a pile of wood. And then for you to pass, you have to take the, the remote control of the crane and actually be a crane operator and actually remove the pile so you can actually uh, go forward. So that should be interesting for people to actually play with it. So. How long does ABS take to, to cure? Need some custom stickers. Yes, I will put, uh, I got stickers while I print them myself. Um, but yes, I will be printing some black and white, uh, well, black stickers and putting them in on the, on the door, uh, just like, uh, it actually shows on the, um, on, on, on the original one. And I'll show you real quickly. I'll grab my mouse here and I'll find uh, the website. It's actually in the description here on Thingiverse. So let's share the screen while this is drawing. So here we go. So this is actually the file. Oh, it's 114, not 112. So the porta potty, uh, this is where I got the the uh, the file from, uh, Thingiverse, and um, it's a twetwe. I have no idea where these bathroom are, but here there's the bottom where you can see how it is, which is kind of cool. Uh, minor printed white, so that's where the forklift actually picks up the uh, the crate, or you can actually put a chain and hook it up on top. So I wonder if my crane's going to be strong enough to actually lift that. Uh, but uh, these are the files you get. So <clears throat> this actually comes in two pieces. Uh, there you have the door, uh, the roof, the toilet seat, doors. You get uh, three doors, uh, not doors, uh, panels like this. And here's the bottom. Uh, so you can actually put the forklifts on the sides. Uh, here he's got it, uh, this is a 114th, he's got a smaller guy in there, but he's got it all in white. So you can actually put it different material, but Stefan made sure that uh, this was printed in um, blue and white, so it made sense. So here we have the file, how it is actually inserted. Uh, there is no door handle, but I did check on the internet uh, what it actually looks like, so I am going to build one in styrene. I won't do that tonight, but I will modify this hole. Instead of being a round one, it's going to be a slot. So I can actually side it forward and backward. And I will try to do the green and red. So when it's actually pushed out, it will be green. In other words, available. And when it's actually locked, it's going to be red. So it should be interesting. But this is the file. Uh, you can download those files for free and actually print it yourself. So it, it turned out very good. I don't think Stefan had any problem with the file, so uh, check it out. The link is uh, below, and the link is there also for Stefan's uh, website. There's a woman on site. <laughs> yeah, It's pretty rare the women come on my trail anyways. I say that, and there was some on the last... Uh, Last event, there was actually two that actually came. So before gluing the top, I got to make sure that um, I put my little pin. Actually, I should make a longer pin for the door. I did put a bottom pin. Now I got to put a top pin. did do one, but it's a little short. I'm 
going to need a puck. Yeah, I, I want to go where the, um, uh, uh, where you go for trains and all that and make false water. Uh, I do want to make it look like it's water in there. And I also want to uh, make a floater in there. So a brown floater or something in there. So uh, I, I want to be on the gross side and on the funny side. So should be uh, interesting and fun. Putting a floater in there. There we go, the door. All in all, it's just uh, another. Oh, wrong song. So I'll just pull it out a bit and cut it. I gotta be in the way. Nope. Perfecto mundo. I guess we could find a puck somewhere. The pucks are white, right? Yeah, for the urinal, a bunch of pucks in there. Yeah, true. For the urinal, we do need some pucks. It is drying slowly but surely. Oh, it's not bad. I'm not going to try pulling on it, but it is drying. I'm surprised nobody's jumping on, but hey, everybody's busy and it is kind of an off night that I'm doing this. Pretty sure I did send a message. Yep. Use your wire, fold it a couple times, and then make it like a Z shape for a twist. <laughs> twist and log handle. <laughs> so I'm not going to tip it on its side. It'd be better if you, for you guys if I did tip it. Um, or maybe change camera. Could do that also. Let me play with my other camera and tilt it down. Switch my camera. Hey, there we go. Now we have the front. Then this is a seven seven inch, I think, figure. It's a wrestler. There he is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doesn't want to stand up. Come on, mini tank. Cooperate. I have to put him on the side. Perfect height for the urinal. But it could have been a little lower, but then it might have looked awkward for the size. So I'm happy with the size. It's, it's, it looks good. Yes, it is. I think it's a good size. So this is really going to help it straightening up. I, I will be putting um, glue pretty much any, everywhere here and actually just putting this on here and this really makes a nice finish and it will really hold um, the whole thing together. So that's going to be kind of cool. And there's three of these panels. And that one, I can take the yellow glob out. 
and go crazy. This thing smells strong. My wife's probably going to bitch and complain. My brush is already drying out. So let's put that right on to the side, put it pretty much in the center. And push on it. If I did another one on the other side, I could push on the same time. So with the suction, it should stay there. Let me prep another one. It's a dauber, okay. Don't get technical with me. I have the power, the power to ban people if they get funny. No, it's okay. I'm a funny guy myself. I like to think so anyways. Glue, lots of glue. I gotta hurry up and glue this because it smells and I don't want my wife to come running down here and say, Open all the windows. It's only a couple little dabs of blue. Oh, easy froggy just came in. Hello, Frank. Hello. You got a project going? I'll see if I can get mine going. Cool. And until, um, oh, you're going to work on the truck? Until yeah, I got to the lights. Yeah. Until you, you would get somebody else to come in here, I'm going to ask you to shut off your camera. Okay. Uh, like that, I'm going to be full screen. Okay. Uh, I don't think my audio will work that way. Yeah, well, no, no, if you just, no, no, shut off the, uh, here, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Okay. Here we go. I stop your video. I'll ask you to turn it back on in a bit. Okay. Or if you want to show us something or whatever. So th this toilet, I'm very pleased with the size and, and how it actually turned out. It's going to look amazing on the trail. That is going to look cool. And uh, I got another guy that's actually giving me a uh, canister. You know those big canister that go on the like on the truck that you have on the, those trailers, those shipyard canister. Yeah. He's giving me a he's giving me a big one. It's uh, it's actually almost the uh, same size as a Hornet. It's 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 kind of big. Nice. So he says, "Hey, I got a donation for your trail." So I go, "Oh, that's cool." So. And I, I am picking up an old helicopter uh, for 20 bucks. It's a broken down helicopter, helicopter, but it's pretty big. But I, I want to do a crash site in the wood. So that's going to be neat also. You could have told me. I've got some parts for stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make a crash site. I'm look, still looking for planes and things like that. But I wouldn't ask you because you live too far. I'm trying to get some local people and I don't want people to spend money for nothing. And like shipping is going to be a killer. It's going to cost 40 or 50 bucks for you to ship things to me. So I, I'd rather not do that. Um, no, I guess that's okay then. <laughs> and I, I don't want to pay for, for, for that either, especially when I can get it locally. So, yeah. If you were closer, yeah, sure. And uh, you are mentioning you got a crane also? Yeah. Cool. It's in the background here. It's one of the, what they call, uh, well, they say it's a 114th. It's one of the Wiener or whatever it is. Yeah. Rotates. 
cable up and down, the boom thing goes forward and back. I actually just had a guy here yesterday buying some parts off me, and he was looking at it, wondering oh, yeah. if I'd sell it for or if I could get him one. Those things have gone way up in price. Yeah, this is really going to help it strong, uh, stiffen up and make it really strong, these three panels on each side. I just got to see what I'm doing here. Okay. That's going to be cool. So what was your inspiration for doing that, Frank? Well, I think it's G Green's RC. He, when I posted my um, my sh my office, my Atco office shack, he actually yeah. mentioned uh, you need a porta potty now. So I was gonna build one in wood. Uh, that's been a thing of mine. I've always wanted to do, but I saw this one and I said, wait a minute, it'd be cool to have one three D printed. So I did pay for this. I did pay, pay for the print um, to get it done. Uh, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the result. That's cool. And I do have to make some stickers. Yeah, at least you got the stuff to do that. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Kevin's asking how thick it is. How thick is it? It's that thick. I gotta get it. it it's pretty thick. Like, uh, it, do, 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 do. you want that in inches or in millimeters? You U.S. people. See the blue here. You're looking at one eighth. This is one eighth. The top, the blue one, and then when you get to the corner, it's way thicker. You're looking at uh, at least a quarter inch. So it's it's pretty it's pretty thick uh the thickest thickest part here is a quarter inch and then all the way around it's a it's a one eighth and looks like this is a another eighth or just a little bit more than eight because it does protrude just a little bit out so it's nice and strong uh and this is full uh it's not empty as far as i can tell it looks like it's uh, not full uh because of the weight but this one this one is is um kind of thick but this one is empty because it's very light the roof that's cool but the whole thing is a quarter inch so that's that's pretty nice and thick do you have an idea of what that's going to weigh when it's done no but i can actually weigh it um i, I got a scale upstairs and uh, i will weigh it so i can actually show some people and tell them how much it weighs like this right now as it sits uh, you're looking at um, four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths so that's the how wide it is and that at the longest you're looking at about six and a quarter diagonal i was more thinking because the way the top's made it's got the holes on the top for the hooks yep. for lifting it you can lift that with your crane to place it where you want yeah i know I know, but you, you notice that crane turns very fast. Eh? Actually, at least mine turn like it's it's very jerky when you turn it. So you got to be careful, I guess. Yeah, but you also got, they only have a certain amount of weight that they can lift as well. So yes. yeah, that's, so that's, that's what I, I will much. check how much, but I, I think this might be a little too much for the motor. That's what I was thinking too. It's not that big of a motor in there. No, and the winches aren't the best, or the winch spool isn't the best either. Yeah. G Greens is heading to bed soon. Heading to bed. Have a good evening. So let's put some yellow stuff around the edges. This is like an operation. 
got to be quiet. Shh, be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting for a wabbit. Okay, Elmer. <laughs> there, there's some people on Facebook. They put a post like, "You, you stop uh, the rabbit because in Elmer Fudd, whatever, because it was too violent." But you're letting your kids play uh, GTA or a whole bunch of bloody oh. games. Oh, I know. Crazy. Yeah, that's one word for it. And I don't know about there, but are you having issues with? coins being returned to you from going to the store having issues with what being returned to me coins as in change no we're having a quote-unquote coin shortage here really yeah yep a lot of places you get unless you have exact change they will give you change on a gift card or such, or it gets um, rounded up and donated if you're at like a Goodwill or something like that. Hmm. So yeah, it's getting really stupid here. I'm liking this. So the crane, I saw the crane, um, and it's right here behind me. It's right there. Yep. I was surprised at the size of the box. When I saw the box, I was disappointed. I go, man, it's small. It's tiny. But as soon as you take it out of the box and you start building it, man, that thing really stretches out. It does. About four foot tall. Yep. So it's going to be cool on the trails. Yes, it's not scaled to my trucks, but still a cool effect I'm going to have. <laughs> G Green is going to bed early. Had a hard day at work, I guess. It's only 10 o'clock. Yeah. I need to put a little light in there um, when you open the door. <laughs> have a little light. That'll be cool. Um, best ones for that would be like the ones for the airplanes. They're smaller size LED. Yeah. You can get the blue one that doesn't shine super bright, but it'll be real good. Can we see the pipe? Can we see the pipe? Yeah, we do see the pipe in there. Makes it cool with the pipe. Man, did I ever look everywhere for that stupid rubber hose? <laughs> I go, I know I got a piece. I know I got a piece. I picked one up a, a while back, like a while back, like five years ago. <laughs> and I knew I had it, but where was it? Looks great on camera. Thank you, Kevin. And the tops are already glued. That's one thing with this uh, PVC, the ABS glue. It's uh, ABS PVC. It's uh, it's pretty good. That's cool. Sweet. I only have the bottom to do. Green frog could maybe use some graffiti inside. <laughs> some graffiti, yeah. Well, if I knew somebody that was good, I, 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 I could do that, like get them to use a marker or even uh, airbrush and, and do a graffiti on it. That would be kind of cool. That'd be real cool. 
hopefully people won't come on my trails and bring a marker and like say uh g greens was here <laughs> for a good time call tank <laughs> hey jm hello basher boy hey john martin Do, do, do. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey. Howdy, howdy, howdy. There, I asked to start your video. Since uh, John is here, he can, I, I can actually can spotlight myself now. Okay. One second. Had to get back over the... Yeah, sucking yeah. down out of the way here, so okay, where is the front? It won't stand by itself on the roof. Oh no. How am I going to glue these? Got a can you can put the thing in? Yeah, I'll, I'll manage. I'm just toying around more than anything. Make one for an event and have everyone sign it and then give it away as a price. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm glad he did these peas in white. It's going to make it stand out a little bit more. Yeah. All right, that's good enough for tonight. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, when I stripped down this truck to repaint the, or to paint the fenders and the rails and all, I undid all the lights, so I had to redo everything. Okay. And I didn't have it all hooked up quite right. Ever. I got an idea. I'm going to put this underneath this the the roof. That, that looks like that should work doing that. Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. See, when there's a wheel, there's a way. And if not, we make it, right? Yeah, find a way. Now, did you think of that, or did you see what Kagan had say, just said? No. He said the uh, same thing. No, I, I did not even read that. I just saw his post when you said, <laughs> did you see it? Great mind thinks alike. <laughs> So would you, I missed the beginning of it here. What'd you do? Is the whole thing out of styrene or? No, oh, it's actually 3D printed from Steph from the. Oh, is it? Okay. Nice. Oh, no. My wife was very impressed with the quality of it. She goes, wow, the details. And she was really impressed. I can't wait to see if my if my forklift is actually the forks are going to fit in there. 
Bobby's RC, my rustler is so fun. Good for you. Rustlers and slashes are fun. Now, did you get the 4x4 rustler or just the two-wheel drive rustler? Doesn't really matter. They're all fun. You can do multiple things with, with both of them. Yep. Yeah. I guess I better take a measurement and see if I do have it centered or not. One and a half inch. Hey, just by eye. I had it perfect. Well, that's good. They're never centered in real life anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they're supposed to be. Supposed to be and all those two different things. Yeah, there's my train right back there. Yeah, just wait. I'll switch to you in a sec there. Oh, that's fine. I see you got your hands full. <laughs> One more and I'm done gluing. Then I just got to wait till they're all glues and all the pieces are glued. Then we can start chit-chatting. Chit <laughs> right, I'm going to switch over to my computer, so I'll be right back. Okay, okay. sounds good. There, now I can shut, close my, my glue. <laughs> Get rid of the smell, huh? Yeah. I used to use that stuff all the time doing arts or um, landscape irrigation. Yeah. <laughs> and now I can throw away my little paintbrush. <laughs> Looks pretty good there. Yeah. Basher boy. So who's good to be honored and take a dump in there first? <laughs> We're going to send in mini tank. <laughs> Mini Tank, are you up for the mission? If you choose to accept it. Well, he can't go in there. He can't even bend his knees. I mean, <laughs> his uh, his knees bend, but there's I can't make him the the other this way. Like his his ties don't don't go up. So ah. uh, anyway, somebody told me Iron Man doesn't need to go in the bathroom. He's got a uh, system in there that actually makes let let him go to the washroom. Yep. So, uh, anyway, somebody. Oh. Somebody turned on their audio. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was opening up the chat so I could see it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He's sitting down. Cool. <laughs> sitting down doing his business but it, it's perfect like he's sitting down perfectly on the seat and his feet are perfectly on the ground so scale wise for these bonums these little guys they're pretty good it's it's dead on so give him a little privacy there let him finish what he's doing <laughs> Uh, 
Bobby's RC says, I about did my first backflip today, but it ended up on its top. It, it's, it's, it's hard to do a backflip or a front flip with a two wheel drive. It's, it's tough. It's, four by four, it's a little easier, way easier. But on a two wheel drive, it, it is, if you don't have a little kicker or something to help you uh, do that backflip. So uh, keep going. You, you'll get it. Yeah, just takes practice. That and a lot of power in the rear wheels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Practice, power, and some good height. Yeah. Oh, the door opened. Sorry, uh -oh. about that, bud. Are you done? Yeah, he says he's done. Oh, man. I think I'm going to need like. Green Frog is saying, I need a match or something. <laughs> Let go of the smell. Yeah. Little, little vent or funnel on the top there, right? Yeah. Now I just need a, an old uh, dry shaft, like somebody was saying. Um, just cut it and glue it and make it, make it look like it's a stack. Yeah. yeah. An old broken Traxxas one would probably work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got, I got yeah, some of those. Kit. <laughs> I wouldn't want a sound kit in there. A sound kit? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that'd be too funny. <laughs> All you got to do is get a fart machine and hide it around there. Mm. <laughs> My pastor's wife has one of those, and she likes playing with that at church and at the women's retreat. And even a woman can go in there. I've got one. Door. Wouldn't fit in there correctly. No articulate yeah, appendages. Yeah, the problem with her is she's on high heels, and it's kind of tough to make her stand sometime with the high yeah. heels. Yeah, mine's an anime girl, so it's just on a stand. But here you can see the details in this and on the sides. It's really cool. It does look really good. Yep. Now all you need is to get a little little bit of mesh or something like that, put it around the top of the roof there. A mesh for so it looks what? like air vents. Okay. So it looks like the vents. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean now. Yeah, the vents are supposed to be here. It's supposed to be under. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be vented. Mm -hmm. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, like, you know, little screen or something, little piece of screen or something or other. And Yeah, just like G. Greens was saying, I need in there, I need a foot pump and a uh, water a sink on this side. On the other side, I need a sink and a foot pump to wash your hands. To be... COVID-19 compliant. Yeah, just, pick, just, just, just get a little sanitizer thing. There you go. <laughs> oh, move that camera up. That was my overhead shot. <laughs> cool. There we go. It's all about almost an hour and everything is, it's not dry, dry there, but Took me, took my time and glued everything and it's done. Very cool. It's going to look cool. I'm going to think tomorrow of a way to do my door handle and make it slide. Uh, probably take my Dremel to it or my knife and just cut the, uh, uh, the ABS and make a slider. There you go. And that glue, that is pretty fast drawing. I am trying to move this leg that I just glued last, and it ain't moving. That's a good thing. That's Real good, good thing. 
now we can attach this to the crane. But I'll weigh it tomorrow. I'll get my wife's uh, food food scale and weigh it. Yeah. Ma ma make sure I weigh it in imperial and in metric. So post it in both for different people. Yeah, I think mine only lifts up to what, 100 grams or something like that? Okay. actually do this oh there's your crane yeah looks like mine <laughs> yours have sound and all that on it too yep yeah. i'll do get my pedaling scale out and check the weight of the weight that comes with the thing but I'm not digging in the drawer for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, mine, uh, it, it, well, in the front, you have two two bars in the front, but the top bar, the longest one, it's missing a piece. So, because it was used from somebody. So I actually used those green uh, pieces I got and I made, I made a whole new one. So. Oh, on the top there, you mean? Yeah. The top brace. Yeah. There's two. So my yeah. forward one was missing. So I actually made one with those uh, metal uh, rods. Oh, cool. Yeah, mine, I got one about middle of it and then one that is in two pieces that goes out to the front of it. And this is my big heavy duty remote control for it. Yours is smaller than mine. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's mine. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's the one I've got. Cool. Way different. Fake buttons up here. Everything's run from this here. Oh yeah. Turn off and down and all from here. So yeah, like I said, these have gone way up in price. I called the, the distributor I've gotten mine from. And I was surprised how much it went up. Well, I saw some on Amazon for $99 and up. Like the most expensive one I saw was like 300 and something. Yeah, that one has got a lot of metal in it if it's the same one I'm thinking of. Okay. But yeah, 88 to 115 is what I've seen this one for. How much? From 88 to 115. Okay. Um. Wholesale price is way up from where I got mine, so. I got lucky. I, I got mine in the garage shell because a woman, she put, like, pictures of, she goes, I'm having a garage shell this, this weekend on the 18th. And she put a picture of a whole bunch of stuff. And I said, do you have anything remote control? And how much for that crane on that shelf? Because I noticed the box. Yeah. Uh, on, on, on the picture. Like, she didn't mention that that was there. But I noticed the box, how much for that crane? And then she goes, she replies to me, good eye. But he goes, uh, I go, she goes, 40 bucks. I go, okay, sold. That so, works. Yeah, yeah, no every, kidding. Everything works for 40 bucks. I went to pick it up. There you go. Yeah, um, I got that one brand new from the distributor for five bucks more. Cool. Because I got a show special from the um, trade show I saw it at. Okay. They've gone up considerably from there. Before shipping, it's 65 bucks. Well, it's just like that uh, Tamaya Hilux knockoff that was on Banggoods. That oh, was a good yeah. price earlier. But man, did that thing ever go up in price? Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, where's... Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. How's the trip going? Here's something you should have brought on your trip, a little porta potty So it's for the people that come on my trail. They, they now have a 3D porta potty It's got a urinal on that side, and I did install a little pipe there. And it's got uh, a place where they can do their number two. And yes, there is no vents, so it is going to stink in there, but I, I think they'll be okay. I think the little guys are going to be okay. 
I just finished gluing it all together. Um, I'll print it with ABS. Um, so it should withstand the weather and all that. I am not going to leave it on the trail. Uh, when I'm when we're done for the event, I will take this and store it either uh, in my shed or actually put it in my crate and bring it back with my RC. So it, it's not going to stay outside. Yeah, I might not like it outside too much. No, no, not a good idea. Who won whose car? The pink slip race was today. What Sean's saying. No, we we didn't end up uh, getting together and meeting. Uh, Tony uh, broke down on his one to one and had to get that fixed before he went down to Axial Fest. So I'm going to try to get down to Indiana and meet up with him down there. He's already beating that thing up, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to give him a hard time since he's not in here. <laughs> yep. Well, he's he's kind of in here. He's in chat, so. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> well, right, right, right now. By the way, yeah, I'm looking at the weather. He's getting hit by some pretty good uh, thunderstorms and rain down where he is. So. Ooh, that's someone sent some rain this way, please. We're in our monsoon time right now, and we haven't had a drop yet. Oh, really? I... Yeah, and I mean, it was 108 today. The humidity and dew point has been up, so it's been miserable. It's crazy the weather we've been having here. We have uh, had a lot of heat, but barely any rain. But last week, last weekend, it rained pretty good. Um, but since then, no rain. And man, let me tell you, the the grass is growing like crazy um, here. I bet. Because... I bet you. It's that. That's the worst part of it. It's get. It's get so hot and you know like you know, you don't want to mow it and then it'll rain and then the next day it'll be hot again and then you got yourself a hay field yep. and so you want to mow it down but then your grass goes from green to brown real yep. quick and and uh in the morning it's so humid here uh, in the morning the dew it's there's a lot of uh morning dew on the ground so it's all wet so you can't cut the grass in the morning you got to do it in the afternoon hey rc84 film how you doing Good. How about y'all? Good. Did you have a chance to see my porter potty? Yeah, I saw your part uh, where you're gluing it all together. That's really mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Stefan from the LED wheel got this printed for me. It was supposed to be a one fourteenth, but he did scale the file to a one tenth, and it turned nice. out pretty good. So yeah, definitely looks good. I'm happy. Nice and strong. Uh, sides are about a quarter inch. Uh, walls are one uh, one eighth plus one eighth, so it's a quarter inch once it's all glued together. So it should withstand. Uh, it should withstand a tipping. Even if somebody puts a man in there and actually tips it, yeah, you know, like most people do. So, so somebody <laughs> in the chat said, "Who's going to be the first, uh, uh, first guy that's going to get tipped in there?" Yeah. Uh. Kevin Gibbs was asking where that tail was at, Frank. The what? Did something about hail? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, there was no hail at this this area. I thought it was you that posted a picture of the hail. There, there was hail in your area. Uh, RC84 Films, Kevin Gibbs is giving you a fist bump. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what have you been up to? You have, We haven't seen you in a bit. Uh, I've been busy with work and everything. So. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I've been working on the HG Humvee for the last uh, almost about, about a month now, a few weeks okay. now. So changing a few things on that truck. Cool. And uh, tomorrow's topic is probably going to be the Red Cat, because Red ah. Cat has came out with a new kit today. Oh, nice. Yep. Build, a builder's kit for the uh, Wendigo. Wendigo. And that one is a builder's kit. It is all apart. 
So it's not like their other kits that they have, which is half built. This one is all apart. And no electronics. And no electronics, that's correct. Hmm. That'll be an interesting one. So it's for actually for sale right now for two fifty nine ninety nine for the yep. kit. So that's pretty good. So no no yeah. electronics. Get the body. You get the axles. Wonder if these are like beefy tubes. There's they look like beef tubes. Yeah, it does look like it. Yeah, it's definitely beef tubes. Yeah, they probably put that in theirs also just to reinforce these axle because they're friggin' long. They're longer than the wraith. Comes with yeah. bearings. Sway bars, metal links, die shafts. Super Swampers. Glued rims. I'm glad the tires don't come glued to them. The people with a beadlock can actually use their beadlocks. Yeah. I like what they've done with the uh, with the grill nowadays. I, I like a lot of companies are doing this and giving the chance to making it properly for the grill. That should be very interesting. Yeah. Certainly will be. And the price for the kit, that's pretty good for people that already have their electronics there and just slap something in there. It's not a bad deal. No. No, it's not. Cool. If I was in the market for something along those lines, I'd probably go grab one. Yeah. yeah. Trying to part with a few things so I can get me another semi kit or a trailer kit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is the uh, chassis of the HG um, V there. Oh, wow. All right, Kevin, Gibbs, we'll see you tomorrow. See you later, Kevin. Thanks yep. for dropping in. But yeah, everything on this chassis is nut but metal. Good. And the motor and the the weight is really down low, which is good. Yeah, which I, I just changed out the motor the other night, so I put a 55 turn in there. So. 55 turn. That's going to be nice and slow and strong. And uh, geared fast. The truck is geared for, you know, is geared fast because it does have a two-speed transmission. Okay, okay. So it is still fast with the 55 in there. Cool. Uh, it's basically like a short course truck with rails. <laughs> hmm. Even uh, with a 55 turn, really? Even with the 55 in there, I think it's still still fast. Nice. So, but a lot more work to do to it. Now, what's the body for it? The body is that the Humvee body. Okay. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah, so it's definitely a heavy truck. It weighs about uh, 14 pounds. So nice. Definitely heavy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah. It's still not bad, really, for what it is. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were talking about trailer. <laughs> One of my subscribers made this for me. Nice. Oh, cool. uh, I, want, I, want, I want to make one similar to that. Do what? I want to make one similar to that one. Yeah, he made this and sent it to me. I was like, oh, sweet. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I, I just, I just crossed over to the dark side yesterday. I don't know if you guys all seen the video. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh nice. yeah, I, I saw that. We went out with her already. 
Yeah, I just posted a video on it. First time crawling with it. And yeah, it's a little scraped up and a little gouged up, but no, got her. I saw your post. You're the mechanic. It's not your truck. It's your wife's. What's that? You're just a mechanic for your wife's truck. Oh, she, yeah. She, she's already she's already yelling at me. She goes, oh, she goes, "That's cute. That's like that. I like that. Don't don't scrape it up." I go, "It's a crawler. It's gonna get. It's gonna flip over. It's gonna get scratched." Cool. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so I'm working on that next. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty easy to make a trailer like that because, like, you take two pieces, well, some piece of lot big piece of styrene, and just put a frame around it. Yeah, that's what he did. So he's got the rivets. So he's got the metal frame, which is a cool idea. But you don't have to put a metal frame. You could have went with just styrene. Yeah, it, it makes it for a truer realism look. The way is he's got it done. Yeah, and he, uh, he built the tire rack for it. Nice. Uh, what what size vehicle is fit in that? Uh, it fits all my uh, one-tenth scale uh, crawlers. Nice. Cool. So like a TT01 or a streetcar is no problem going to fit in there? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'd say it probably would. If the crawler will fit in there, then a streetcar will fit in there. Yeah. yeah, it should fit in there. I see you got tire tire tracks in there already. Yeah, he actually did that just for uh, detail. And he oh, also yeah. did a little uh, oil spot right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, he did the uh, the bench for me. Nice. Cool. So. Mm -hmm. And Arnie's slacking off there in a the, in the corner. He's sleeping. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so. Microwave. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, a little microwave. So I got a bunch of other scale stuff I'm going to throw in there. So a little TV and all that. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll end this video of the uh, gluing the thing. We'll sit here and chit chat some more, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night for our sea talk. So, if any guys can make it, join in. Uh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, will do. So, thanks for joining cool. in, guys, and we'll stop the live stream. And don't forget, keep those batteries charged and have some fun.